Hey all, it's Francis from Dose of Freedom. So today, quick tutorial. Those are the drones that uh, are mainly flown in Ukraine. So in liftoff, I will show you how to fully custom uh, your FPV drone in the workshop so you can uh, start practicing with something similar than that. So uh, let's uh, get on the computer and I'm going to show you everything. So. To create our custom drone, what we are going to do, let's go in Tools, Workbench, and Drone Editor. Now we are going to go here and click on Add Drone. Okay, so here in the top, you have all the parts you can change. So let's try to create a drone um, the closest to those one that we use in Ukraine. Unfortunately, there are some spec we use in Ukraine are not available on liftoff, but let's try to make like the most similar to those that we make here. So first of all, we're gonna go to the frames. You see here frame type. So most uh, like let's say kamikaze drone on the battlefield um, use like X frame type. And uh, they are like seven, eight, 10, 13 inches. Um, however, here, the only one, the, the bigger that uh, the option gives is five inch. So, I mean, yeah, we're gonna go with that for now. So. Just make sure it is a X frame and take the uh, one of the biggest you can find. Next up for the battery, we use um, 6S batteries. Usually 6S3Ps is the configuration. So let's try. So you're gonna choose this one here, S line 6S. That's a pretty standard configuration uh, here in Ukraine. And we always trap the battery on top of the frame, just like so. Next, the motors. So for 10 inches, usually I put on my drones 900 kilovolt. The more, the lower the number, the more powerful the motors are. So, yeah, usually using 900 kilovolt on 10 inches, but here the closer that there is from 900 will be 1750 that I found here somewhere. It's going to be on the other side right here. But yeah, a lot of choice of motors. But yeah, let's choose the lowest number we can find. So this one, 18, 1800, 1750, 1650 kilovolt. So I think we are going to go with uh, those one here. Next up, for the props, here in Ukraine, either use uh, Jamfan or HQ props. So let's go ahead and uh, put uh, those one here, Jamfan 530 tri-blade. Made of plastic. So that's pretty good. Next, for, for the camera, So I would suggest to use a normal camera, not a micro or um, like nano, just like normal size mini cam uh, camera. For me, I don't have the options available here. I don't know if I need to unlock or something. I just have this one. So it's gonna be this one for now. But yeah, like we, we don't use micro or mini or like just like normal size FPV camera. 
and you want uh, the angle set at uh, zero for training. And then after, for tr we train at zero, and then after when we, you are um, like more experienced, you can set up the angle uh, as you prefer. It's uh, a preference, but for totally total beginners, let's start with zero. Next up, action camera. Well, we don't get to to use them in Ukraine. It's gonna cost way more. It's gonna cost a lot of money. It, it would be nice though to have like GoPros on our kamikaze or on bombers maybe. But uh, yeah, if you have the money for it, go ahead. But usually we just we don't use them. And for antenna, let's uh, use um, like this one. So that's a build pretty similar. It's the closest build I could find. This one uh, f from the one that we use in Ukraine. Um, it's a little bit like we use bi bi bigger frame with stronger motor, but for practicing on simulator, I think it's going to be um, the best that you can do for now. One thing that is very important once you are good to once you are good to fly normally and you are pretty good at it, so you will want to add weight. So you're gonna go into frame, edit part, additional weight, and it's a uh, yeah, 1,000 gram, uh, one kilogram, usually. So the, the payload will be changing all the time. But let's say for a average um, payload or maybe 1.5 kilograms that I have seen. So just max out the weight and practice, practice just like so. It's going to similar the payload under your drone and um, like you will be used to practice with some kind of weight um, under your drone. I hope it was helpful for you if you have any questions. So this tutorial I'm making about FPV drones, everything will be free. But if you want to support me, it's, uh, will, it's you can join the Patreon, also become a member of this, uh, join the membership program of our YouTube follow those are freedom on instagram and follow this channel because i'm gonna be making a way more tutorials way more classes about fpv drones so yeah just uh, make sure you save it everything and you're good to go so that's all for me everyone uh, have a great day and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace